Some new updates on the stimulus package as more details were released today. Let's get into it and discuss all the information. But really quickly, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as you certainly want to make sure to watch all of the videos going forward as things are getting very, very busy right now as Congress is putting the finishing touches on this stimulus package and they plan on having this thing fully passed in a matter of just days. It's going to get really, really busy here, even through the rest of today and over the coming days here. There's going to be a lot more information coming out, and I'll be right here for you with all of those latest updates as they're being released. So again, thank you for your support. Subscribe down below, and I'll be here for you every single day with all those updates and helping you out in any way that I can. All right, let's quickly talk through some of these updates that were released today as we finally have some more information on this stimulus package and what everybody's thinking right now, right? There's been a lot of heat said she said over the last few weeks here and finally we're starting to narrow this thing down and realize what is actually in this package and how this whole thing is going to shake out so in that private meeting that was held yesterday at the president's home between the president chuck schumer and joe manchin we are finally getting a few of the details out of that and some statements out of the president as well as joe manchin today and their plans for this week so we've got a lot here all right first off so over the weekend, they held that private meeting. Well, we didn't really get any uh, updates yesterday. I was looking all over the place. I didn't see anything. However, we got some updates and it looks like they have finally narrowed down the top line number of this package. Remember before we kept talking about this range on the, pre uh, the price tag of the package? Well, it looks like now it's gonna be coming in at about $1.75 trillion. That's kind of like the hard line number that I've been seeing around. So maybe it's a little bit off from that, but that's the number I've seen in a few different sources is $1.75 trillion. Now, you might be wondering, where'd that come from? Well, Joe Manchin is the guy who has said he would be willing to support up to $1.75 trillion. Therefore, they're going to max it out, right? <laughs> so yeah, they're going to max out uh, his top line number. Previously, he was at $1.5 trillion, but now it looks like he's moved up you know, another quarter trillion dollars. So that's where we're sitting at right now is uh, $1.75 trillion. All right, so he said that. Now, the president was out just a short, well, earlier today, I should say, it wasn't a short time ago. It was a, a few hours ago. The president was out in a statement and he was talking to reporters and basically said that they want to get this package done before the president goes to the climate summit later this week. He's going to be leaving uh, for the climate summit over across seas. Uh, sorry, overseas. I think that's what everybody says. Uh, he's going to be going overseas for the climate summit and he wants to get this package done by then so he can point back at the package and be like, hey, check it out. This is what the U.S is doing. This is what Congress is doing over in the United States. So he wants to be able to lean back on this package. That's why they're trying to jam this thing through right now and quit get it done before he leaves in a matter of just days later this week. So yeah, a lot of good things right here as well. Um, but again, there are more details coming out as far as some of the provisions in the package. Remember the videos I had over the weekend? We had a number of different we uh, videos over the weekend. Again, he said, she said, all these different things about what's going on in the package. It looks like we're getting some more details on this Medicare expansion. You remember that whole drama over the weekend? It was one guy said this, another guy said that, somebody said that. It was like all these different things that were said over a short period of time, right? And they were almost all contradicting. However, here's what it looks like. We're getting a little bit more information on the Medicare expansion. On one hand, it looks like they're trying to add all of the provisions into this package to expand Medicare benefits to include hearing, dental, and vision. However, on the other hand, it looks like they may be shaving it down a little bit to uh, add Medicare expansion to include hearing and vision, but yet they may exclude dental. Therefore, that might be why that $800 prepaid um, debit card for dental is going to be issued. Now remember, all of this is still up in the air, but that's according to some of the reports that I've been seeing lately, is it looks like they want to leave the Medicare expansion for hearing and vision, but yet send out the $800 voucher card that was specifically for dental. Remember that? So over the weekend, I said, yeah, they want to do this $800 card that's specifically on dental dental. And I thought, seriously, just on dental, why would they do that? Well, this is why, because they want to take dental out of it because it's so expensive, right? So 
they want to remove that and in lieu of this uh, dental coverage being included in Medicare, they want to approve this one-time $800 like prepaid card that we've talked about in previous videos, right? So that's kind of what is um, going on with that. Now again, it's all still up in the air. There's nothing definitive yet. There's nothing decided on yet. There's still some of this stuff they still need to shake out, but this is the latest that I just noticed a short time ago. So, wow, right? Yeah, it's kind of coming together here a little bit. All right, so Joe Manchin has also indicated that they will likely have the final framework of this package done by the end of today. Remember, they wanted to have this done, the final framework of this thing done by Friday. Well, it didn't happen. It didn't happen over the weekend. And now Joe Manchin is somebody saying it's probably going to be done by the end of today. So we'll need to continue watching this um, and see if they actually do get it done. Now, a lot of times we'd have to recognize this too. A lot of times Congress does work into the wee hours of the night. You know, there's a lot of times where I'm doing my research and 11 p.m., midnight, you know, 12.30, you know, something like that. It's almost like the middle of the night. All of a sudden, I see that they're still working and doing updates. So it's like, whoa, what? Seriously, they're still doing something? <laughs> I'm usually a little bit shocked that they're still actually being productive at 11 p.m. or midnight or something. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, sometimes they do uh, actually do that. So maybe that'll be one of these nights where they pull a, uh, well, let's be real. I was going to say an all-nighter. <laughs> they're not going to pull an all-nighter. Uh, we know better than that. Um, but maybe they will work into the night, you know, late into the night and continue working on this. But again, we'll have to watch that and see what they actually kind of hammer out through the rest of the hours today. But as you can see, some major progress that we've seen just today alone out of these announcements that we're having here. Uh, considering over the weekend, they didn't really have a whole lot going on, right? There was a few things that came out about the Medicare expansion, but other than that, there wasn't really a whole lot of action as far as statements and things like that. Yes, Nancy Pelosi was out yesterday saying that the bill was like 90% completed, 90% uh, written, things like that. Uh, but other than that, there wasn't a whole lot definitively saying, you know, here's where we are and here's what's going to happen. But it looks like they're still planning on scheduling these votes uh, later this week. Now, one more thing we need to take in consideration is... Uh, back at the end of September, remember, that's when the fiscal year for the federal government ended. So the new fiscal year started as of October 1st. Well, as a result of that, they had to extend out a short-term kind of like patch to continue to keep surface transportation funding going. In fact, it actually lapsed for about three or four days where they were thinking about laying, or I should say uh, furloughing, about 3,700 um, like transportation, like, you know, um, these types of people. Um, but anyway, so they put that 30 day patch in there. Well, guess what? The patch is going to expire on Saturday. So they've got to get something passed once again, or once again, kick the can down the road and send out another 30 day patch kind of thing for that. So this is another reason why they want to get these packages done so they can add that right in there, get it passed, and then continue to keep that surface transportation funding going. Kind of get what I'm what I'm saying. So they do actually have a lot of things that are kind of culminating right now and uh, all kind of leading toward the end of this week. Uh, but either way, as of right now, you know, about halfway or through uh, halfway through the day, well, a little more than halfway through the day so far. At the time I'm recording this video, well, it's far, it's more than halfway through the day. Uh, but anyway. Um, we do have, you know, pretty good updates here so far, considering they are actually working on this. It does sound, again, from a few sources that I saw, it does look like, for the most part, all of these closed door meetings and all of this back and forth negotiations and stuff like that is pretty much done for the most part. Uh, the rest of it is just hammering out the final details, the last few details of this thing, and seeing what they can get done with it. So just a matter of writing up that last little bit of legislation, so again, we'll have to see what happens, but they want to hold those final votes in just a matter of days here, and we'll see what actually happens if they actually get it done, if they don't, if they... Who knows what they're going to do? You know what I mean? <laughs> if the president leaves uh, prior to getting anything done and, you know, the package is actually passed... That's a whole nother question we need to focus on, right? So either way, I imagine there's probably going to be more coming out later today, considering how these things usually happen. I've seen it so many times, and I'm sure many of you have who've been watching for a while now. We think we're done for the day, and then sure enough, late at night, we get some kind of major update. That happens all the time. You know what I mean? It's like 9 p.m., and it's all of a sudden like, wait, what? They're still doing this, and this just came out, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of things that come out. So anyway... Good stuff. Glad we got an update. Glad we're making some progress. Um, of course, they've got to add more in it. 
We're going to do what we can either way. So enjoy. Hope this update helps you out. I'll continue to keep you posted with any further updates as we get them. Don't worry. This is your one-stop shop for everything you need to know right now. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video. I am your one and only daily advocate, and I'll continue to be here for you each and every day. Enjoy. Subscribe down below. Share the videos with your friends, family, social media, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.